Hello, the New York Times has a new game. It's called Pips. It's not a word game, so it might not fit quite into the, the sort of theme of this channel, but it's new, so I'm going to uh, attempt it today. And it comes in three difficulty levels, easy, medium, and hard. I did solve one yesterday, so I think I understand how to play. Um, and we'll see how I do today. It's called Pips. It's about uh, placing dominoes in sort of prescribed ways, figuring out how to get them into the board. Let's just get on with it and see how we go. As I say, there are three difficulty levels. Let's just try each of them in ascending level of difficulty and see how that gets us. So let's play the easy puzzle. Now, the way this works is we've got the board here and we've got these various colored sections with um, num numeric clues and other sorts of clues that we'll see at the higher difficulty levels, presumably. So at the easy level, they all seem to be of this same category, which is uh, numbers that indicate the totals we must uh, achieve from the pips, hence the name of the game, in the dominoes. So in the four region, we need a total of four pips. In the zero region, we need a total of zero. And in the two region, we need a total of two. Dominoes can overlap regions. They don't need to stay entirely within one region, but they must stay within the board as a whole. Now, when I first saw this and first started playing it, I, I'm only mentioning this in case other people were confused by this. I thought the O sort of the zero, sorry, the zero sort of, you know, I thought this meant this was overlapping these two regions. Therefore, the zero needed to only be touching zero domino halves or something like that. That's not the case. It refers to the colored region that shares the color with the, num the, the numbers tag. So anyway, we need four in this one square here. So the only way to achieve that would be with a domino half that has a four in it. You can click the dominoes to rotate them before you place them. Um, I don't know yet which way this, this is going to need to go, so we'll just put it in like this for now and adjust if we need to. So the four goes in there, and we can see we could have placed it this way as well. We can't play it this way because it goes out of bounds. Okay, now the zero obviously is going to need... Oh, what did I do? Did I? I don't know. I don't know which one's right. Anyway, the zero obviously is going to need empty domino halves in all bits of it, and I can see that to make the two... Um, we'll need a single pip in the two with another zero up in the zero area to make in, ensure a total of zero up there. And then finally, we've got, uh, this has worked out. Oops, so let's just look at that quickly. Um, so we've got, a, as we said, a, a total of two in the two region, one dot, one pip per domino there adds up to two, zero in the zero, four in the four, and then the other, the other sort of cells doesn't matter what's in them. They can be anything. Okay, so there we go. Let's play another difficulty. Let's play medium. See how that, that goes. Uh, right. So here we have a new type of clue. We've got this equals clue. So what that means is all four, for instance, in this region down at the bottom here, all four of these cells must have the same individual pip count. And so we can see actually already that each of those is going to need to be need to be a six because there's only one pip count among our five dominoes that occurs four times, and it's the sixes. So we'll need four sixes in there, and then we can see one of those sixes will need to connect to a three in order to satisfy this three total here. So that's the first thing we can put into the grid, the three and the six. There we go. And then um, one of them we can now see will need to be a six and a two so that one of them can stick out and get that too. So we'll do this one, we'll rotate it appropriately, put it there. And then uh, the only other way to fill the equals, this six equals area with more sixes is to put the two sixes there. So we'll do that. Then now we can see um, this equals both of these cells need the same pip count. That would be achieved by either of our two remaining dominoes. But um, we also have to fill this two the only way to fill the two would be with two one pip halves, which means the only remaining position for the threes is here, and that's correct. All right, let's try yet another difficulty level. We'll try hard. Let's play. Oh, whoa. Okay. This is, and it doesn't quite fit. I'm going to have to scroll the, the pips title. Oh, wow. Uh, right. I didn't really account for a puzzle being this large. Let's see. How can I, I'll have to slightly reframe my screen here. If I do this, this should work. Um, 
So if I do that and then I scroll a bit, there we go. That just about, that just about makes it. Okay. Well, this is interesting. So we need a six in the top. We have plenty of choices though for that six. Um, so that doesn't necessarily help us. We've got three, uh, three regions of equals. So we've got one with four equals and one with, it's I'm sorry, two with three each. Can we arrange these, sort these or anything? I can't, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so how many sixes do we have? We have five sixes. We have four fives. Three fours, okay. Huh, how do we start going about this? So the we don't have any empty, we have no blank dominoes, which means the two is going to need to have two ones in it. So that means we know we need to start with a six up top and a one underneath it. So that's at least something. There's a way to start. And then we'll need another one in the two there. Um, and we only actually have one other. We only have one option for that. There's only one other domino with a single pip on a half of it. So there we go. That's at least something there. So the four, how could we create four? Actually, the only way now to create a total of four would be two twos, because the only other way to do it would be with a one and a three or a four and a zero, and we don't have, uh, there's no one and there's no zeros. So we need two twos in there. And the twos come with a three and a five. Now, one of those is going to stick into this equal region and we don't have enough threes to have four instances of it in this equals, which means it's gonna be the two that pokes, the two with the five that pokes into the equals, which means the other two to make up our four total goes there. So now this equals area over here needs four instances of five pips. So we can put this double five there and then five and six there, which means this bottom region here is going to have three instances of six in order to maintain the equivalence. There we go. And then finally, we can now see the only way to fill this three equivalent section is with three instances of four pips. So we will put those in now and that is it. There we go. All right. Well, that was the new New York Times puzzle game pips. Um, and it didn't seem too difficult. I wonder if the hard puzzles will get more difficult over time as people sort of ease into um, ease into the game. And uh, let me know if you'd like to see me solve more of this. Don't know if I'm going to do this every day. As I say, it's not a word puzzle, so it's, it's less in keeping with the channel. But let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed watching me solve it, and we'll see. And that's that with the pips. Back tomorrow. Maybe, maybe back tomorrow. Bye for now.